Good morning everyone, it is Jack D with Team Aquascape and today we are on another build. As you can see, I'm standing in an alley so that can only mean one thing, we're in Chicago. A little bit of a tight space today and uh, let me show you guys what we're working with. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. As you guys can see, we got our mini excavator for this job. It's just gonna make digging a little bit easier. Even though it is a smaller pond, it's always nice to have a machine on site just in case we hit any stumps or anything, big rocks, concrete footings, just some of the stuff we normally find on job sites. Here's our site access. As you can see, the homeowner came and took out this fence panel for us, so it'll make it nice and easy to drive the machine right in there, fingers crossed. The guys that have helped out unloading all the product off the truck, and here is the site for the day. So as you can see, it'll be a smaller feature, but it'll do this yard a huge justice the homeowner was saying she doesn't really like the whole site of the garage right there so adding a pond here will bring a lot of noise birds and everything and also for great viewing area up there for them to enjoy so stick around and see what uh, we create So we are rocking and rolling. Side cutter went down, so we had to scrape all of this stuff out with the machine, which takes a little bit more time and a little bit more finesse with those tiny little teeth on there. But we got everything out, everything's laid out. I've got the pond sitting in here. The pond is actually gonna come up and underneath this area here. We're gonna do a bridge. We're gonna do a little area over here about 12 inches deep so the fish still comfortably wanna swim back over in here. And then the coolest part is they're gonna add a deck back over in this space. So I've got this chair out here and often I'll do this like instead of designing the space I designed the space around the function of the furniture so they wanted four chairs we laid out four chairs so two this way two that way and then plenty of room for them to kind of come and walk in front without falling into the deck the key is we're gonna build a wall where the deck can kind of cantilever out over that space create like making it look like the pond almost like a bite out of the deck which will look great the other thing they're adding on is a spillway bowl a little fire spillway bowl right here that'll have the deck scribed around it and and then some plants around the other side which will look just fantastic over in that space so we've got roughly like an eight by 11 foot pond with some deep stream type stuff we'll have to seam it here find a bridge and then you can see they're getting the bio falls and the plumbing all set so i can come in start digging take all this dirt and flip it over to that space so things are definitely coming along looking really good next step dig 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 It's a very common thing for us to say, even though we'd like to be further along. But you can see the shape of our pond, where it's gonna come underneath the patio or the sidewalk. We've got an enormous amount of dirt that's gotta get out of here. So they're dropping our roll off out there, getting the brick in here. All of that brick is gonna be used for this wall inside of here. We'll probably use like half of that. We've got it all back here just in case. We're at about 23 inches deep. He would like us to go about another seven more inches, just get a 30 inch deep area. Area, but it's gonna look awesome. I'm loving the shape of it. Again, we've got a deck that's gonna come out and kind of follow the contours of that curve right in there. Um, I can't wait to come back and show you what that looks like. But we're just getting this bottom hole in here and we've got to be somewhat mindful because in a couple areas, we're starting to see a little bit of groundwater down in there. So we're not gonna go too much deeper because I think we'll run into problems if we do. But right there, things are looking great. Bricks there and that's our access in and out for tomorrow's stone. All 
right guys, as you can see, we're at the end of the day. Got our pond excavated, skimmer set. Still have to do underlayment, liner and underlayment. But as you guys can see, we got our recessed hole dug or trench right here for that straight wall that'll come up right there to allow for that patio or deck to come right out over it. Underneath this underlayment here, have this path going right out to the garage. What's gonna be really cool is nice stone slab going right over it. So the stream sitting behind this mini excavator over here can meander down through and tuck right under, dumping right into this 15 by 10 foot pond, let's say. So super excited and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Up, oh, yep, right there. Perfect. <laughs> hey, it's Brian with <laughs> Hey, it's Brian with Team Bakuski. We're back out here. We've got DK with us today. He came out here. Jack left to go help Chris finish up a project. We've got Brian Law from Aquatopia out in Southern California. Damien and his guy Steve from Wisconsin up there. And then a couple of the guys from Memphis Water Gardens. That's better. We're rocking it along. Things are looking really good. Yeah, these small projects, I actually just love them because I can really, really focus on the detail type stuff. And you know, we're really into just doing these types of walls all the time. I think it looks cool. You guys tell me what you think, but let me show you a little bit of progress and what we're up to. So DK's over here digging out for a big rock that we set over here. I really want to create this cool peninsula that kind of comes off of this. Hopefully that rock works out in a way that I can get a fire spillway bowl dropping this way. JD is finishing up our unilock wall in here where a deck will sit and cantilever out over the top of it. Guys in the back are bringing in a massive boulder to kind of finish this wall. We're going to dig it right in here, accentuate that peninsula. Then I've got to get another one right here for another peninsula rock. And then all of this can remain kind of smaller stuff. I really want to keep this stuff relatively small with the idea that plants that sit between here and the edge of the pond can just grow over it, engulfing all of that. One of the things that we like to say here at Aquascape, we love it when we can't tell exactly where the water ends and the land begins, and that's only achieved by proper landscaping. So if I can get a bunch of plants kind of creeping over those smaller rocks, this edge will look fantastic. That can't happen as easy when I put big boulders in. So some areas we intentionally do small rocks. Small rocks almost always go on my curves away from the pond. Big rocks on my curves that go in towards the pond, really accentuating those curves that much more. All right, so here we go. We're gonna continue, hopefully, sometime after lunch we get into this space where we can start digging out the pathway and our deep stream that'll feed over to the waterfall kind of hiding over here behind the machine wish us luck here we go As you guys can see, we got our pathway ripped out, cooling area coming out of the bio falls, all trenched out and ready to start rocking in that. We do have to do a seam here, just as you can see, this liner ends right about right there. So uh, we'll throw that seam in and start rocking. And then uh, as you can see, we also got these two trenches on either side of the pathway. As you guys have seen with our walls, which is under the liner there, those curved walls, uh, you guys know how we like to recess the bottom course of brick. So we're gonna do the same here, add a little bit of base just to build it up to give more structural support. And then we'll do those vertical walls for our bridge to sit right across. But yeah, really liking how shape of this whole thing and looking forward to see what we get done.
can see the guys are seaming a liner here. Now seaming is not something we do all the time. Again, it's nothing that's really difficult to do. It's just super, super time consuming. We're choosing to do a seam tape and a cover tape. So you can see here how Juan and Jack are working on the seam tape. Now the seam tape is double-sided sticky. So we stick one side down to here and then come back over and you can see we pull back the tape or the plastic and then we put this side down on top there. Then we're gonna come back over with a cover tape that's gonna see come over the top of these two. Basically put the seam tape down as cheap insurance and then we come back over with the cover tape and we do that on every single time we do a seam. It's not hard, it's just time consuming because we wanna make sure the liner is nice and flat. You can tell that we've placed a board underneath here to give us that hard, flat, rigid surface, making it easier to do that seam. Now we do seams quite a bit because we get these funky designs. So if you look over here, we've got our big part of our pond over here. It gets narrow and then it widens up to like a six by six, seven by seven foot area there. We could have done this whole thing in one giant sheet of liner, which of course would have been safer, but we would have wasted a lot of liner back over in here where I didn't need to. So we were able to use a smaller piece over here, reducing the cost and just adding a little bit more time to do the seam. So after they get that done, we're gonna come back in. We're gonna start working on our bridge getting our bridge set and then hopefully start setting a few boulders because tomorrow we have to be out of here. Think that's a possibility? Yeah. Go oh, team Aquas game. Yeah. <laughs> well with five guys doing a seam it should be able to get done. <laughs> can see the truck is loaded up we are finished with this feature so let me take you guys back and show you what we completed this week
on the books. What do you think, guys? Turned out awesome. awesome. It's yeah, very sweet. I love it. Like, I love the way the waterfall moves. I love that the, actually the customer insisted on adding all the different elements, you know, from the fire bowl to the sphere. Statues. The statues. Even the Buddha, I was a little reluctant on, but now I'm like looking at the Buddha, I'm like, I gotta figure out where she got the Buddha. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, want, I want the Buddha. The Buddha's awesome. What's your favorite part? The bridge. The bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Jack built the bridge. Jack built the bridge. Very good. No, I think it's I, love I it all. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I like the deep I, stream. Yeah. I think. I mean, the whole thing, the design. Now that the whole backyard is just this whole like water oasis, and the deep stream is awesome. We've been doing a lot of these bigger projects in smaller areas, right? And I always use the analogy. It's kind of like building the pirate ship inside the glass bottle. Yeah. Like, so it's got some serious challenges, like because all of your access is coming through there. I mean, we had a giant excavator back here. Digging everything today. out and yeah, today, right? Today. And, but it pays off. Like so when it looks like this and we get to landscape it and put all the mulch and the little fresh stone pathway. I love that it's like finished, right? It's just done. Mm -hmm. Except for Bernie's got a pretty big project ahead of us. We gotta wait right? on the homeowner to finish his deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, Brad, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for all your help. Of course. Thank you. Love the experience. Go ahead, give a shout out. Where do they find uh, you? Oh, Oasis Water Garden, married with ponds on Instagram and and yeah, check us out. Big shout out to the guys last week, Damien and his crew out here for helping us last week. We've been out here, it feels longer than we were supposed to, five total days, Yeah. but a lot of detail work, right? Like I said, pathways and bridges and fireballs and spears and waterfalls and glass bottles and pirate ships, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys, tell us what you think. Look at it right now.